Open Project Gantt charts enable you to visualize your project timeline and to collaboratively schedule phases, milestones, or tasks with your team. To activate Gantt charts for your project, go to Project Settings, Modules, and check the box for Gantt charts. Don't forget to save your changes. The Gantt Charts module displays all your project's work packages on a timeline. You can create new elements, just as you create work packages, in line by clicking on the link Create New Work Package, or with the green Create button. Add or change start and finish dates in the list, or by drag and drop in the Gantt Charts view. A right mouse click in the list lets you indent or outdent the hierarchy for a work package. Clicking on the start or finish date in the list opens a modal. Here, you can change dates or activate the manual scheduling mode. Manual scheduling allows you to set dates for the parent work package manually, independent from the duration of existing work package children. It is referred to as top-down scheduling. Whereas automatic scheduling sets start and finish dates of a parent work package based on its children. It is referred to as bottom-up scheduling. The automatic scheduling mode is set as the default mode. The pin in the list next to the start date indicates the activation for manual scheduling. For scheduling, you can switch between working days only or the full week. Changing the duration will affect the finish date of this work package. Add predecessors or followers of work packages, also with a right mouse click on a work package in the timeline. Select the relevant work package from the Gantt chart view. The Show Relations brings you to a page where you can easily modify or remove existing relations for work packages. You can zoom, activate the Zen mode, or open further settings via the More button, such as Export, Visibility Settings, or Configure View. On the Gantt Charts tab, you can change the label configuration or the zoom level. Don't forget to save your changes to the view by clicking on the disk icon next to the name of your view. You can also create multi-project timelines by adding more projects via the Include Projects filter or by opening the Global Gantt Charts view from the main header navigation.